formatting objects. Rather than filling an object or text box with one color, you may want to fill it with gradations of one or two colors. Here I am going to show you how to format the objects. Select your shape, which has been drawn. Go to the Drawing Tools tab and click the Format tab. In the Shape Styles group, click Shape Fill and select Gradient. Now you can see certain gradient samples. As you move your mouse over the samples, the color will be reflected on the shape simultaneously. Then click the desired gradient style. If you want more gradient samples, here are the steps. In the Shape Styles group, click Shape Fill and select Gradient, and then point to More Gradients. The Format Shape dialog box appears. In the Fill selection, select Gradient Fill. Click on the Preset Colors button. You will get more attractive samples. Choose your favorite one and click the Close button. Add Word Art. The Word Art feature lets you create stylized text in order to draw your attention. Most users apply Word Art to short phrases or even just one word, such as growing a garden. To apply a Word Art style, click the Insert tab and move the mouse pointer to the text group. Click the Word Art button and then click one of the Word Art styles. A Word Art text box appears on the slide with the selected placeholder text. Click on the Word Art text. Type the text you want Word Art to use. For editing Word Art style, do the following. Click to place the insertion point where you want to edit, and then type the new text. Click outside the objects to deselect it. For adjusting Word Art in various angles, click the Word Art object you wish to change. Drag the free angle handle to adjust the text angle in the direction you wish. When you're done, release the mouse button. Click outside the object to deselect it. Move and resize objects. Once you are done creating an object, you can change its appearance to meet your design needs by resizing, shading, adding shadows, and or creating 3D effects. Here are the steps to resize the objects. Select the shape that you want to adjust the size. Click and drag the yellow diamond for the desired effect. Once your shape has reached the desired size, release the mouse button. To maintain the shape's height to width ratio, hold down Shift while you drag the corner handle. Let's discuss now how to move objects from one position to another in a slide. Go to the Insert tab. In the Illustrations group, click the Shape command and the Shape Gallery appears. Choose your favorite shape. Your mouse pointer is changed as a crosshair. Then click-drag the mouse into the slide. When finished, release the mouse button and click the border of the shape. Then use the arrow keys for repositioning the shape. You can also use the mouse for moving objects. For that, Click the border of the shape and drag it to somewhere else. When you've reached the desired position, release the mouse button. Now you are familiar with moving and resizing the objects, so you can increase or decrease the size of the image and you can move it anywhere in the slide. Grouping, Ungrouping, and Regrouping Objects Grouping multiple lines and shapes let you resize or reposition them as easily as though you were manipulating a single line or shape. Here are the steps for grouping objects. Select the shapes that you want to group together. The Drawing Tools appears in the title bar. Click on the Format tab. Place the mouse pointer in the Arrange group. Click the Group command, then click the Group option. Now you can see the shapes are grouped together. So now you can move the shapes anywhere in the slide. You can use the tab keys to select objects in order. Ungroup. If you want to ungroup the grouped shapes, do the following. Select the group that you wish to ungroup. Under the Drawing Tools, click on the Format tab. In the Arrange group, click on the Group command. 
and then click Ungroup. Now the objects are ungrouped. Regroup shapes or objects. Regrouping means to bring the shape back to its normal position as it was before you grouped it. Select any of the shapes that were previously in a group. Under Drawing Tools, click on the Format tab. Bring the mouse to the Arrange group and click on the group. Then click Regroup. Now the shapes are coming back to original position.